this with the dog already in a stand, not in heel position, because if they're in heel position, we have to worry about whether or not they are straight. So we're gonna start with the dog either directly in front of us or at, I actually really like at this kind of 90 degree angle, um, because I just think it makes it really easier for our own mechanics and making sure where we're placing the reward. Some of you may want to use a large foot target. Let's briefly talk about that pop forward stand in case you guys want that. If again, if you're just doing a moving stand, you might decide to focus on this as well. So this is again, you want your rear feet to remain still. And I'm going to have a dog seat pop forward. I'm moving back with the dog to help her. Again, I'm focusing on cookies on landing to get that freeze and then that release cue. And again, I'm going to take my hand away, feeding, taking my hand away, feeding, just to focus on that duration. So I'm healing. You can see my hands going back to help her a stay. You could absolutely tell the dog stay. That's working on this next step of continued motion, right? And that last rep our left was better. Where I'm telling her stay, right? So I'm doing technically I'm saying touch, but I would say pop and then stay, but I'm no longer needing my hand back to kind of remind her to stay. I'm not pushing her back with my hand, but this is kind of the next goal is that the dog is freezing while I keep walking away from them.